2023 was a bit of a hit or miss year when it came to the movies. Some high highs, but there's some low lows too. We're looking forward into 2024. I think we're going to see some more of the same in there. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the most anticipated movies of the year and just see how excited we should be for each one of them. Let's rank the hype of 2024's most anticipated movies. Like always, let me know how wrong I am in the comments below, or in the rare occasion that you agree with me, you can let me know there too. We're going to start off with Mean Girls, which is coming out on January 12th. Uh, this movie is a remake, not just of the Mean Girls movie, but of the you know, musical stage play. I wouldn't hold it against you for not knowing that this is a musical version of it. It's not really something they're putting in the very front of all those trailers in a similar way that they didn't advertise it with Wonka. I don't know how I feel about this one. Mean Girls, uh, the original, it's a classic. For ranking how hyped uh, I am for this movie, it's not much. Um, I think I might put it in the D tier. It does have a lot of the returning cast and everything, which is cool. And so, I mean, who knows? Maybe it could be really good. But as of right now, there's not much going for me with it. February 12th, we're going to be getting Argyle, uh, the new Matthew Vaughn movie. Uh, I think this one looks like a lot of fun. I know that some people online are like, Henry Cavill's hair looks stupid. And I'm like, I think that's the point. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a joke, right? This movie's got a stacked cast. Uh, like I mentioned, Henry Cavill's in there. He's great. Uh, Sam Rockwell is awesome. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, Brian Cranston, uh, and then you know Bryce Dallas Howard. She can be a lot of fun too. Catherine O'Hara. A lot of good stuff in there. I think it's going to be good action. Matthew Vaughn does that uh, really well. Pretty stylized stuff. So I think it will be pretty fun. John Cena in this movie also um yeah i think that this one for me i'm i'm pretty excited for it glad it's early in the year i'm gonna put this one up in a on february 14th sony's gonna be putting out their newest spider-man non-spider-man movie madam web this movie looks like hot garbage uh in my opinion uh yikes i just don't get how they're picking these characters to make these movies i think superhero movies being successful just because they're superhero movies like that ship has sailed so i think this movie's gonna bomb do i think it's gonna be as bad as morbius i think it will be just as bad as morbius but not as fun as morbius uh, i think this movie is going to be pretty disappointing and kind of a slog to get through for me the hype on this one that's an f dune part two is coming out on march 1st I am very excited for this one. I really liked Dune Part 1. I, I was bummed that this one got pushed uh, into 2024. And so, you know, I've just kind of been getting more and more uh, excited for it. I'm excited to see the conclusion, all the action and stuff that we've been building up to. I think that Austin Butler is great. And so I like him being added in here. Like the cast is even better than the cast in the first one, right? Because just all the extra people that are getting added into it. Uh, so yeah, I don't see any reason not to be excited for Dune Part 2. Uh, this one for me, I think is going to be up there in that S tier. March 8th is going to have the first horror movie that we'll talk about on our list, and that's Imaginary, uh, about an imaginary friend uh, who is kind of like a demon in this teddy bear. I think that there's potential, but I, I don't want it to just kind of fall into being I don't know, just like a normal haunting kind of thing. I want some good lore. I want some good scares. I don't want it to just be jump scares, though. That's so lazy. Um, we've had some pretty fun horror movies come out this year in 2023, and so maybe this could kind of fall into that fun uh, category, you know, like with Megan and everything. This one, I think, is going to squeak into that C tier. Kung Fu Panda 4 also comes out on March 8th, so that'll be a fun double feature. Is that the next Barbenheimer? Huh? I don't, I'm probably not. I don't have like nostalgia for them like a lot of people do. I'm older than like some people online nowadays. Most people online nowadays, it feels like. Um, and so because of that, I'm not emotionally invested in this, right? Like I don't get upset because there's a fart joke in here. Like some people uh, seem to, uh, even though I'm pretty sure there's been fart jokes all over these movies uh, from the very beginning. It falls into the situation where it's like, what is left is there to say? But, you know, that's also kind of how I felt going into Kung Fu Panda 3. Uh, so, you know. Maybe they'll pull it out. I think on this one, I'll go C tier. Arthur the King, uh, March 22nd. Uh, I don't know why this movie is on this list. Uh, I got this list from uh, Rotten Tomatoes, just like uh, talking about the most anticipated movies of the year. I don't know what world you're living in where Arthur the King is in that, uh, in that talks. It's a movie about a dog uh, that helps Mark Wahlberg um, compete in like an ultra Iron Man competition. I guess if you really like dog movies, this could be for you. Or if you really like Mark Wahlberg, uh, this could be for you. 
it seems very schmaltzy uh very much wants to get you to cry um the dog is going like in the trailer and stuff which i do think is funny um i don't know it's a d tier and i know it's based on a true story i don't care March 29th is the release date for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I really liked Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen next. Some of the comedy in the trailer isn't my favorite. I kind of roll my eyes at certain parts of it. But I like these movies where it's a comedy, but also there's like the supernatural kind of scary stuff. These kind of gateway horror movies are always a lot of fun. So I think that this could be you know, another one that could deliver. I'm going to put this one up in that A tier. March 29th is also the release date of Mickey 17, uh, which is based on a science fiction novel starring Robert Pattinson. Uh, he's like a clone and everything. It's directed by Bong Joon-ho, uh, the guy who brought us Parasite. Uh, so there's a couple reasons to be excited in there. I really like Parasite, uh, and I really like Robert Pattinson, and I really like science fiction movies that deal with clones, like Moon. If we can get some kind of like feel like that, uh, that'd be cool. Uh, so, I don't know. There's a lot to look forward to, I think, with this one. There's not a ton out there right now uh, for it. There's kind of like just a tease, uh, like a little teaser. But I don't see, again, any reason not to be excited for this one. I might avoid trailers even uh, for that as much as I can. So, I think of this one, I'm going to go in that A tier. Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. Uh, that one comes out on April 12th. I don't know guys i'm pretty excited about it but at the same time with godzilla minus one having just come out it's rough because that movie was so awesome and this movie is not going to be that now does that mean godzilla movies need to be really serious to be good no not at all i like the cheesy actiony kind of ones and i think that's what this one is going to be the director is saying there's like some long extended monster only uh, sequences and so that can be cool it does feel weird like just seeing Godzilla and King Kong running through a jungle that feels like it's their size. It kind of takes away some of the magic of them being big. When it comes to the quality of the movie itself, we're going to have to wait and see. But when it comes to the hype level on it, I'm a little excited. So I think I'll give this one a B. Challengers coming out April 26th, the new Zendaya uh, tennis movie, right? Her and the two dudes. The trailer was big uh, when it came out. Uh, for me... This one isn't really doing much. Not my type of movie, really. Um, I think I'm going to put it in the D tier. I'm sure it's going to have good performances. I'll be happy to eat my words if it ends up being like really good. But just as of right now, not looking forward to it. Civil War uh, comes out on April 26th. This is an A24 action movie about the U.S. being in a new civil war. You'd think it's going to be like tackling these kind of big political issues like in some serious ways and everything given the studio i mean it's got a good writer and everything the guy who did like 28 days later and annihilation but in the trailer they're like the, <laughs> the like the other army is gonna show up in washington dc on the fourth of july and i'm like oh gosh just roll my eyes at that uh that's rolling emric levels of like decision making and writing and stuff like I don't know. got a good cast though i'm sure it'll have some good action and everything so i mean i'll be there i'll watch it but i'm really one not one way or the other on it it's another c tier fall guy though that movie comes out on may 3rd and i am looking forward to this for a few reasons the director of bullet train really liked that movie uh, and then ryan gosling and he is just not missing right now so i think that this one is going to be a good time at the movies going to have some good action uh, and everything it's based on an old tv show for me i think this one is another a tier on may 10th we have a new biopic coming out about amy winehouse called back to black just not really my kind of movie. It's going to be very sad. I'm sure potentially it could have really good performances and everything. And so I'll wait to kind of see what people say when it comes to judging the movie itself. But when it comes to being excited about it right now, um, it, that's not here for me. I'm going to be putting this one in that D tier. May 17th, we get the new movie, If, uh, which is about imaginary friends. It's starring Ryan Reynolds. Uh, it's written and directed by um, you know, John Krasinski. Uh, so, I don't know, he's decent at making movies, and I like uh, Ryan Reynolds. Um, the movie feels weirdly kind of like, is, is this Foster's home for imaginary friends? Because they're like taking care of people's old imaginary friends and everything. It does have a really good cast though, and so you know, that's always fun. A lot of good comedic people in there. I do like Steve Carell. I think this one's going to be another kind of middle of the road, wait and see kind of thing. It's going to be in that C tier. May 24th. Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, so like the follow-up prequel to Mad Max Fury Road, which in my opinion, one of the best 
movies to come out in the last decade. Crazy that it's almost been out for a whole decade at this point. Um, I don't know how this movie's going to deliver. That's the thing. I think expectations are going to be sky high for people, um, but I am excited for it. I think the trailer, you know, some people are complaining online about the effects, but they're not finished effects. That's how it always goes. Um, George Miller is kind of like a visionary. He knows what he wants to put on screen, and he does that when he has the budget to do it. Um, I think Anya Taylor-Joy is good. I think that Chris Hemsworth doing whatever voice and he's doing with his big fake nose is also fun. Uh, so yeah, I think it'll be good for some car combat and for some crazy imagery and just some and fun lines. And I think it will be a good time. Uh, this one is an S tier for me, though. I'm very much looking forward to it. The same day, uh, May 24th, we are also getting the Garfield movie. And I don't want to just pile on like the hate uh, train for <laughs> Chris Pratt being voicing every single character in animated movies. But like, it is really weird that he's all of these characters. Old Chris Pratt, when he was like more heavy set and everything, sure, he could be Garfield. I don't think fit Chris, Chris Pratt should be Garfield. I feel like it's betraying the character and I think that it's wrong. I think Hollywood needs to do better. Do I think the movie could be good? Sure. Am I excited to watch it at this point in time? No. This one is easily D tier. Also coming out on May 24th is The Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Now, these are of course just the release dates that we have right now. All of these movies could move. All these dates could change. I'm really looking forward to, to this one as well. Um, I really like the current Planet of the Apes series that's been going on. I think it's using motion capture in ways that are just really smart and really, uh, really good. It's fun to be able to have seen how well those graphics and everything have changed. Even just looking at this movie series, we do lose Andy Serkis. He's not in this one. Uh, he's been in the rest of them and everything. This is going to be another one of those S tiers for me. June 7th is going to bring us to Ballerina, a movie that's tied in with the John Wick franchise. And was, uh, this one's got uh, Anna de Armas in it, and I really like her. I like her in action stuff too. Like her in the new James Bond was super fun. Her character was great. I don't think that's what she's going to be doing in this movie. I think that it's going to be way more serious. Um, like the John Wick movies are very self-serious. I think there will be good action in it. I don't think that that will be, uh, you know, something we need to be worried about. Uh, but I just wonder about like the rest of it. I, I like the John Wick movies. Um, I don't like them as much as some people do. Like I'm not crazy invested in them. Um, but, you know, I think this could be a good time. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this one I'll put in the B tier. June 14th, Bad Boys 4. Guys, I'm not really excited for this one. I know the third one did well and everything, but we are in a different world than we were back when that movie came out. I don't know. Are we ready? Are we ready for Will Smith to be cool and stuff again? I have to see. I think I'll be nice and put this one in C tier. Same day, June 14th, Inside Out 2. This one is one I'm looking forward to. It's got a good trailer. It's got a good hook. Where are all these new emotions going to be? The original Inside Out very good it's like a classic pixar needs it disney needs it i'm rooting for them because last year uh, or this year 2023 was rough for them so you know, hopefully they can get some wins uh, in there because i know there's a lot of people who work really hard i'm on these movies so hopefully they're working really hard on some movies that are fun to watch i think i'll put this one uh, in a tier june 21st uh the bike riders this movie has a lot of people talking in funny accents uh, that don't necessarily seem convincing. It does have a really good cast though with Austin Butler, Jodie Comer, Sh Michael Shannon, uh, Norman Reedus, Tom Hardy. Uh, so I think that it could be pretty good, uh, but I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm up, see if I'm going to be able to get past those uh, silly voices. For this one, I'm going to go B tier just because I'm hoping, hoping for it to be good. June 28th, A Quiet Place, Day 1. This movie, you know, if it was just going off the franchise and everything, I'd be like, okay, yeah, could be good. I really do like the first one, and I really like the second one, too. I think that it surprisingly was like up there in quality, like just about equal with the first movie. Um, and the idea of going back to like the beginning of how everything was going on, it's obviously the, the best move when it comes to it. Like, I don't want post-apocalypse show me as it's going down. 
Um, in here though, the thing that makes me most excited is the director that's attached to this movie. That's the guy who directed the movie Pig that starred Nicolas Cage uh, from a couple years ago. That movie is awesome and I'm pretty sure it was my favorite movie that came out that year. Um, it's just so good and so hoping that he can kind of make that step into these bigger kind of more actiony uh, movies as well but still kind of hold on to that character stuff for me this one's going to be pretty high up there i think i'm going to let it squeak into that s tier just look for me for coming out on july 3rd it's the sixth movie in this series if you're counting those minion movies uh, so man it's really wild to think about how long these ones have been coming out in all honesty i think that the despicable me movies are all pretty solid uh, i think that they've got fun uh, gags in there. They've got a fun cast, uh, colorful characters. It's not just like boring at all when it comes to like the animation and everything. Um, yeah, I again, like I mentioned, like Steve Carell, I'll go B. I'm gonna go B tier with this one. I mention on the channel all the time how much I cry watching movies. Despicable Me, the first one, that's the movie that started it all for me. That's the movie that turned me into a blubbering mess. July 19th, we have Twisters. Guys, uh, I don't know how to feel about this one. At this point, we've had geostorms, right? We've had moon falls. How do you walk in here with the twisters and expect to compete with that? You don't even get like returning cast, but it is somehow connected to those. At first, it was going to be a reboot, but I'm like, why do you need a reboot, Twister? Like, just make a new movie called Twisters or Twister, you know? It's not... It's not the characters in there like that necessarily make it that we need to to just copy that again. Make a new story about people chasing uh, twisters. That'd be better, right? Don't just copy the old movie again. All that being said, I don't really care about this movie at all. It might be good for some disaster stuff, but you know, compared to what we've seen before, is it going to be able to even just you know get up to that bar at all? So I don't, I don't really know. So I, at the moment, with no trailer, nothing like that, it's going to go in F tier. July 26th brings us Deadpool 3, the only MCU movie coming out next year. I think it's nice to let them slow down. They need the time to breathe with everything that's going on behind the scenes, but also just with how movies uh, in this series have been received lately. They need to pump the brakes a little bit. And I think if you're going to put out one movie this year, this is the one to do. Uh, it's going to be different, right, than anything that's come out before with them being R-rated. Uh, it's going to be doing a lot of uh, fun, like, wink-wink kind of stuff. I'm not particularly huge on Deadpool as a character, but I do think Ryan Reynolds does a really good job with him in the movie, and I think partnering him up with Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is going to be just a lot of fun to see. This was another S tier for me when it comes to hype. I'm really excited. I'm trying to avoid as many spoilers as I can, which is almost impossible if you're online at all. But uh, really, really uh, looking forward to this one. On August 9th, we have a movie I keep forgetting exists, and that's Borderlands. <laughs> um, I didn't get ton into these games uh, when they first came out and everything. I played them a bit. It's a good time. Not being a huge fan of the games, I think, puts me in a nice spot to not have to worry about it meeting huge expectations. Uh, but when it comes to being hyped, it makes me a lot less uh, excited for it. Yeah, Roth is pretty good. Right? He has a director. It's got a pretty good cast. Uh, like, actually, like, really solid cast. Um, and so, yeah, I think if I was more invested in the games, I would care more about this. I could understand it being higher on a lot of people's lists. But for me, um, I think I'm just going to let it fall into that C tier. On August 16th, we have Alien Romulus, or some websites are still calling it the Untitled Alien uh, Movie. Um, this movie is directed by the guy who uh, brought us Don't Breathe, but more importantly, uh, that Evil Dead remake. Um, that's a good one. Uh, so I, I, I really like that. That movie is very bloody, so I'm excited for some good alien-based gore uh, in this one. It looks like the cast is a lot of younger people and everything, too. It's not necessarily something we've seen in the Alien uh, franchise before, too, so... That could be a lot of fun. This movie was originally going to come out on Hulu, but then it got bumped to theaters. I don't know if the success of Prey might have had something to do with that, but um, I'm glad to see it coming out in theaters. Put these movies out in theaters. These lower budget movies, you're going to make some money. Listen, studios, more of these lower budget movies uh, that you can make some quick bucks on. I love the Alien series, so I'm automatically excited. No real trailers or anything yet to either sway me down or up uh, with it but i'll put it in b tier because just based on the franchise august 30th brings us craven the hunter a movie that got delayed almost a whole year uh, because of the actors and writer strikes another one of these spider-man with no spider-man in it movies 
we just saw Craven the Hunter in Spider-Man 2, the game and everything. So he's been kind of brought to people's attention who maybe wouldn't have known him before. Um, I do think that Aaron Taylor Johnson is a good actor. Um, I don't know about this movie though. They're really pushing that like it's R rated. I don't know if that makes it better, right? Like what, there will be blood when he kills people. So like, cool, but that won't make anything he says better written. It will make anything that happens in the story less like formulaic. I'm really just kind of tired of these, uh, these non Spider-Man Spider-Man movies, um, excluding the Venom ones. Uh, so uh, really just not looking forward to this one either. I'm putting it in an F tier. Just no, it's like we have to base some of this excitement on like the movies that came out prior in the same series. That's Morbius. We can't forget that. We cannot let them have us just like forget that that movie existed as much as they might want us to at this point. September 6th is when Beetlejuice 2 is supposed to be coming out. Oh gosh, I don't know how I feel about this one. It's very conflicting. Uh, not having seen anything yet, it's hard to, to judge, right? You just have to go off of the fact that the movie's coming out. And then there's all this fan-made images, like even the poster here that I'm using as a picture, it's fan-made, it's not actually from the movie, so we, we have no information to go off on that. Uh, I like Michael Keaton, I like Winona Ryder, Jenna Ortega, I could take her leap. I'm going to choose to be hopeful on this one at this moment because I have no reason not to be. I'm going to put it in B tier uh, to be because I'm optimistic, but not going to let myself get too excited before anything comes out with it. So yeah. on September 13th, we're going to get Transformers 1, uh, an animated uh, Transformers movies, which I think is the right direction to go. The best part of the Transformer movies is always the Transformers. So let's not even bother putting them on Earth anymore. Uh, at least at this point, let's take a break from that. And it's going to be directed by the guy who directed Toy Story 4. Again, great movie. So maybe we'll actually get somebody who's going to pay attention to characters and everything like that. So that could be good. The only part of it that seems weird to me is that Optimus Prime is being played by Chris Hemsworth. And that just seems... I don't know. Whatever. Like Usually you would cast a celebrity in one of these animated movies right because you think that their name is a draw like more people are going to come to watch this movie because this person's in it do people care more about chris hemsworth than optimus prime i don't know maybe they do you're not going to see his face though so you can't even like put him on a poster it's just his name is he going to have an australian accent that would be different don't have much to go off on this one but that little bit of casting makes me a little apprehensive Put it in C tier, but I could be swayed either way with a good trailer or a bad trailer. September 27th, we've got the next movie in the Saw series. Now, we don't have an official title or anything. We've just got this tweet uh, that says that, you know, the story's continuing and everything. Uh, so hopefully it will be kind of falling in line with the last one with Saw X, because Saw X was a very good time. It was very kind of silly. Uh, well, as silly as like a saw in a saw kind of way, <laughs> like in a mutilation and stuff kind of way. Uh, but like it didn't take itself too seriously. Uh, didn't get caught up in crazy amounts of the lore uh, where you had to like really be paying attention to all those movies to get what was going on story wise. It didn't feel like it was just about gross out. The the traps were a lot more simple and everything. So so hopefully it kind of goes in that direction a little bit uh, and not like saw 3d i'm gonna put it in b tier for now uh, i think that this could be another good one the new the next joker movie fully ado fully Adur? google translate is giving me both uh it comes out on october 4th um i was not the craziest fan of joker i've kind of warmed up to it a bit over time um, i'm interested to see what's going to happen in this one especially with claims that it's going to be a musical so i'm like that's interesting uh, i think lady gaga she does good stuff uh, i think walking phoenix is a great actor uh i think that brendan gleason uh being in the movie is a plus for me uh, so i at the moment am kind of excited about this one we'll see what the trailer does uh, when it comes to like leveling that out uh, but as of right now i'm going to choose to be optimistic and i'm going to put this in again that b tier 
October 25th is going to be Terrifier 3. This movie is not for me. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who really enjoy this kind of stuff, uh, but this is just mean-spirited, um, really gory, the like, disturbing. It's not, just it's not for me. And but you know, good on you, I suppose. Uh, not to say that things aren't doing aren't like impressive mechanically <laughs> and everything. Uh, but for me right now, Terrifier 3 is not a movie I'm interested in at all. Uh, so my personal hype is going to put it down in that F tier. Uh, don't crucify me for that one. Uh, you, you stoked for it? That's great. Just not me. Venom 3 is something that I am excited to see. Uh, when it comes to like what people are expecting this movie to be about, um, like in Spider-Man showing up in it, I think that they're going to be very disappointed. Uh, because there's a lot of fan posters talking about that. And I don't think that's going to happen at all. They haven't said or done anything that would lead us to believe that. Uh, but you know, people like to dream. Um, I like the first two Venom movies. I think that they are a good version of the Spider-Man with no Spider-Man movies. Um, very like kind of 90s, early 2000s in like their feel and everything. Tom Hardy's obviously having a lot of fun uh, playing Venom. I'll be excited to, to learn more about it. Right now, I think I'm going to put it up at a deer gladiator 2 november 22nd i might be getting in a lot of trouble here uh, in saying this but the original gladiator it's fine uh, it's not one that i am in love with like a lot of people my age and the fact that everybody's dead at the end of it makes me even more so be like okay gladiator 2 here we go I'm sure it will be well made I'm sure it will be um a good watch um with Ridley Scott doing everything like he does. I'm going to put in C tier though for now, without much to go off of. Wicked Part 1 comes out November 27th. Um, the fact that it's not the whole play in one movie does make me a little, like, concerned, I guess. Like, why are we splitting up this thing in this way? I like some of the songs um, from Wicked. I haven't ever seen the show, and so I'm not tied into it because of that. Um, I could see people being more excited or less excited, you know, having opinions on it stronger one way or the other, if they had uh, seen this one. Um, but I love a musical. I really do. And so um, I'm hesitant because of the split, but I think I could probably get this one in C tier. We really are just at the movies where we barely know anything about them um, as of yet. Uh, Karate Kid, December 13th. We've got Ralph Macchio. we got Jackie Chan. That's what we know. Uh, the guys who uh, like did Cobra Kai are supposedly attached and everything um, as well. Um, but dude, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I should be excited or not. Uh, the This franchise is on an upswing and everything, right? With, with Cobra Kai and everything. But that's finishing up. And so... B tier? December 13th, Lord of the Rings, War of the Rohirrim. Uh, if it was just a live action movie, I would be like, no thanks. I'm kind of tired of that. I'm like, just let you know where I stand with the series. Love Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit movies, I didn't even finish. And so if we were just gonna kind of be moving in that direction more, I'd be like, eh, it's animated though. That's interesting to me. So yeah, they're bringing in a Japanese director to be doing it, Kinji Kamiyama, a lot of animation experience, worked on a lot of really popular things, some Ghost in the Shell stuff. Dude, this guy has credits dating back all the way to doing backgrounds on uh, DuckTales, all right? So he's a pro, all right? We should trust this guy. I am kind of excited about it. Uh, excited to see what can come from it. Hopefully they do some cool stuff with the animation. And I'm going to put this one in that A tier because I, I, I'm excited about the potential of it. December 20th, we have Mufasa, the Lion King coming out. Mufasa not being voiced by James Earl Jones, to be fair. James Earl Jones is crazy old. And this is a younger Mufasa in this movie. See, this is the kind of thing where I'm like, I it's what I've said I wanted from these live action Disney movies, where it's a different story at least. So I'm excited a little bit about that. But live action Lion King not my favorite it falls into all the traps of those um, live action disney movies where it's just like a slower more boring version of the animated movie oh goodness 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 um 
so I'm torn. I'm torn in this one. I am a house divided on Mufasa, the Lion King. I think I might choose to have it be in C tier just to, to play it safe. December 20th is also the proposed release date for Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Do we actually think both those movies are going to come out on that day? I would be surprised. Which one will move? Right now, I think Sonic's got a little more staying power. I really like those uh, first two Sonic the Hedgehog movies. I think they're a ton of fun. Of course, we're still not 100% confirmed one way or the other on Eggman, like Jim Carrey showing up in here. And so that could be a bummer. Um, plus Shadow's coming in gonna get all angsty uh, but i'm i'm still excited for it i like these movies i'm gonna put in an a tier then on december 25th we have nosferatu a remake of the original nosferatu uh, by robert eggers the guy who brought us the lighthouse so it might be weird this could be a weird movie it's got willem dafoe in it it's got bill skarsgård in it it's got a pretty good cast and i think it could be pretty good i'll be excited to see some more about it um but as of right now i've got no reason to think that it won't be a decent movie and uh, i think a, a good horror movie right at the end of the year is always a good time so i'm hoping this one doesn't get pushed to 2025 like all of these movies i hope they don't get pushed uh, but for this one uh, i'm gonna let it be in that b tier and that's going to conclude the list did i forget to mention any movies that you thought should have been here where would you rank them i'll let you know uh, if you comment below uh, where i'd put them too 2024 shaping up to be a pretty interesting year at the movies. No real DC movies, just Joker in its own little continuity, its elseworldness. Uh, you know, we're between the DCEU and uh, James Gunn's new continuity at this point. You know, if you're interested in checking out my thoughts on who actually killed the DCEU, you can check out this video uh, right here uh, that I put together talking about that very thing. Uh, so thanks so much for being here. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. Take care.